Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to a new vlog. It is Thursday, the 9th of January, approximately 12.08. And look what we have. Yep. You guys know how long I've been waiting for this. Over a week. Not, it's not like I eat McDonald's every day, but. She does. I would if I could. We've got a lot of updates for you guys. So, where do we even start? We've been back at home. Mm. Um, we are no longer sleeping in random places. <laughs> we still don't have power. We won't have it for a while. <laughs> and it's pretty... Our street still looks like a war zone. Like, literally, mm. all the lines are still down. All the poles are still burnt. Um, so I don't know how much longer it might be without power for. It'll be a while, I think. I heard someone say three weeks and it's honestly starting to look like that. Like I haven't even seen essential, com essential energy come out and look at the damage really. Well they've got so many <coughs> other places to be. There's a lot of people on the ground so. Yeah, there's a lot. A lot of people doing it and there's a lot of poles down. Yeah, like our little area. Probably the worst area. Yeah, I think ours got hit the hardest, honestly. Well, compared to ours through to Tomican. Mm. Sort of area. Yeah. So, I actually wrote down a little list. A list? Oh. Yeah, because I didn't want to ramble for too long. I have a little bit of a list of updates in my diary. We've been sleeping at the house because there's been people that are going around looting. Stealing stuff. Stealing stuff. Joke. from people that have literally just evacuated their houses because of the fires so last night was wild <laughs> i was constantly looking out the window at like 11 30 at night there was a cop that came down our street and he parked there for probably a good two minutes with his lights off after this really sus white lancer came down our street and like sped off again I feel like he was looking for that car. It was so weird. But then I saw that he was like patrolling probably most of the night, I, I reckon. I only saw him the one time, but the policeman. Saw him twice. Yeah, I saw him twice. But yeah. I only saw him one time patrolling with his big like spotlight on the roof of his car. Yeah. That was crazy. I've never seen that like in real life before. I've seen them in movies. <laughs> I've never seen a cop um, like patrolling with their lights their spotlights on top of the car. Pretty wild at home still, because I feel like essential energy hasn't been out there like to fix up the power. I don't think really anyone's been out there. Like even the council I feel like hasn't been out there or whoever it is that assesses trees. Like I was unpacking some groceries a couple of days ago from the car and I just heard this massive crack, 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 bang, like a tree just fell down. I was like, oh my God, that was so crazy. And I was like looking out to see like all the neighbors run out because it was so loud and just no one came out because no one was there at that point. But it's the norm. It was pretty crazy. It's really nice to be clean and showered. There's another little note I have here. We got to do a lot of washing at Isabel's place the other mm. day mm. because they have power in town again right now. So pretty much everywhere has power except for the really crispy areas. Yeah. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, we pulled down all the Christmas decorations the other day as well. We've had a good drop of rain today. Yeah, we've had a good bit of rain today. Like our area. Out at oh, where no, we are. Where Dad and that are, they don't they haven't had any rain. Oh, oh what are you doing? I'm going to the whole car. Don't you make a mess in my car. Whoops. <laughs> I would have cried. Yeah, so have I. But yeah, it's just so crazy to be at home. Like, for the first full two days, I was just walking around every freaking step I took through that house. I feel like I was just walking around going, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, hmm. after this is all over, our whole street's going to get together for a barbecue. <laughs> it's going to be epic. Epic. Just to take you guys for a walk, maybe we'll do it either later on this afternoon or maybe tomorrow. Probably not tomorrow, actually, because tomorrow's meant to be a really bad Friday. Maybe later on this afternoon, maybe we can launch the drone or go for a walk so I can show you guys our area a bit more so you guys can get a bit of a better understanding of what it looks like because I know in the last video, when we drove back through home, like, 
you guys couldn't really see the extent of the damage and you couldn't really see the houses that were gone or like how bad the bush was that we drove through on the way out um, and all that type of thing I'd just really like to show you guys so that you can like I said get a better understanding of what the situation is like here the next thing I wanted to mention was all the comments about why didn't we leave the house earlier Clay do you care to explain that one why why didn't we leave the house on that fateful day because we were silly? No, it's not because we were no. silly. It's because what happened was not supposed to happen. Well, the fire was not supposed to come through where it did. It was not meant to move as quickly. It got away from the fireys. Put it that way. It was never meant to come through Malua Bay. That was not... Not in the spire. It was fire not predicted. No. They never predicted it to come through where it did. It was supposed to burn through the back of... Batemans Bay over here, hey, and travel down to Maria. It was never predicted to come through to the coast towards the beach. That is why, my dear friends, we were still at home. Not because we're stupid. But I probably would have stayed regardless, I would have been more prepared. We would have had an actual plan if we if knew that was going to happen. There was a lot of questions about that. Like, you guys are so stupid for staying. No one called us stupid, but like, people were like, why? didn't you leave earlier all well, the warning signs were there well they were yes but we they, weren't mm. you know if you haven't been in it before you kind of you're a bit blase to it that mm. makes sense and it's not we're not dumb but it was not supposed to happen it was the bottom line it wasn't mm. meant to happen anyway it did and we'll never be in that situation ever again well i won't I'm pretty ready. Fireman Sam over here. Him and his dad went and got a proper fireman water pump. It's actually insane, but I will never put my physical self in that situation again. I will not mentally cope. That was another... Yes. <laughs> a whole heap of comments were saying how calm we were. I'm glad I looked calm because I was not calm. It was a wreck. I was a wreck. When I jumped out of the car, in the clip of the like the fire video where I throw my camera on the seat and you hear me get out of the car, that's because this dingus dropped his phone on the lawn out the front <laughs> and I was like, you know what, we actually need that phone because it works with Clay's inReach, his little Garmin satellite phone. <laughs> We've been sitting here for about eight minutes. Oh, I just completely missed the point of why I was saying that. Yeah, and I literally was just uncontrollably crying. Like, I was not sobbing or anything, but my eyes were just... I was just crying. I don't know if it's because of the smoke or I'd what. I'd say it'd be the smoke. But anyway, that's it. That's the update. We're going to eat at McDonald's, and then we're going to go see the fam. And probably head back home, because apparently I've got mail coming today. Hey guys, it is the next day. Um, I didn't end up vlogging... Or continuing the vlog yesterday afternoon I feel like I just need to put you guys on a tripod <laughs> okay I think that's slightly better so dinner vlogging yesterday afternoon I feel like my mental health just went out the window yesterday afternoon and this morning but good things have happened um it's not all doom and gloom this morning I got up and clay was setting up a camp shower that he realized he had <laughs> which includes hot water with its own little like gas unit thing and anyway clay had literally just finished setting it up and our neighbor was like what are you doing <laughs> why are you setting up a camp shower just plug your hot water system into my generator and so we did that and guys i had a hot shower in my own shower and it was amazing i literally It was the best thing ever. Um, I also got to do about 20 loads of washing. So all our clothes, or most of our clothes are all clean. I still just need to do like one more load of darks. And to strip the bed, hopefully I can do that tomorrow. All thanks to our amazing neighbour who has let us run leads through our house and actually do stuff. Hey Clay. Yep. Um, in other news, our other neighbours were just here from across the road. And... 
they said that they were speaking to a central energy just like an hour ago. Yeah, I'd say so. When they came by in the truck, they've only just assessed the damage. They've only just come out to actually have a look at all the lines down and see what the go is. And they've said that it's going to be at least a couple of weeks. It's already been a week and what, like, it's already been like nine days or something? Mm. Yeah, so that's the update on that, but I think Clay is going to be getting us a generator next week from Canberra, which will be amazing. And then we'll be able to light up the whole house like a bloody Christmas tree. Yeah, that <laughs> Mm. It's gonna be the best thing ever, but yeah, I go back to work on Monday, so it's gonna be hard trying to juggle this lifestyle with work on top of that. Like, I, I don't know, but yeah, it's just a matter of getting used to it, and I guess it's just, I don't know how to explain it. Like, you just lose the, con the convenience of things that we take for granted every single day, like having. A hot shower in your own freaking house that was incredible but anyway the washing's finished i just hung it out and we're gonna go today's friday today's that day that i was just talking about in the last clip that was a really bad fire day it's hot and windy outside but we're safe here um a couple of towns over it is definitely not safe over there but we don't know what the update is with that because we don't have any phone service still but First world problems, right? Not a big deal. It's actually sort of relaxing not having phone service. It frees up a lot of time. I also just cleaned the window seals and everything this morning, got all the ash off there. That's about it though. That's all the excitement for my day so far, and it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. But we are gonna leave now. We're gonna go see Clay's fam. Have some dinner over there. Mmm, homemade ravioli. And I figured I'd bring you guys along because this whole vlog so far has just been us talking and it's about time we go and do something really fun. Do you agree? Mm. You gonna have to say hello? No. You already said hello yesterday anyway, it's the same video. No, well, I'm right then. <laughs> We're just waiting to leave because there are some guys from Essential Energy in our backyard. And naturally we're extremely sus on them, like are you really from Essential Energy? So I figured I would show you guys a little parcel that I got. It is from this brand, Azurique is how I've been pronouncing it. But it literally it just came in the most beautiful box. Um, I haven't even told you guys what it is. I'm realizing it's actually a body oil that smells like a perfume. I got it in the fragrance Bondi. And let me tell you, actually obsessed, like first of all, we need to talk about this packaging, like Lux actual vibes. I feel like it makes such a difference when companies actually care about how they post their product to you. Like, is that not just beautiful and just like not too much, just not overkill. I think it's just stunning. And then here we have the little pouch and inside, dun da da da. So this is a body oil, um, but I've been using it as a perfume for Christmas. Guy got us, I'm pretty sure they're just here. In our Christmas stocking, she put in a couple of little like samples. Um, so we've got the Bondi one, which is the one I'm obsessed with. And also, I think the other Luxor, yeah, Luxor, they both smell incredible, but I just picked one and I cannot wait to just douse myself in this. It smells like luxury, like it just smells so, so good. So yeah, if you're in the market for a new perfume or if you're into body oil, definitely give this brand a go. Um, it's not like a huge company. My understanding is it's just a lady that makes them from her house. And then the brand name is her name and her partner's name or her husband's name. Um, just sort of like merged together. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys that. That was sort of like what made my day today. Aside from the hot shower and aside from doing all the washing. But anyway, the coast is clear to go. I'll see you guys when we get there. Cheers to a little bit of normal. Yes. Sit here with my legs covered in cushions because I'm scared of getting bitten to death by mozzies. And I'm gonna drink my gin, Dawn's gonna wine, and we're just gonna enjoy 
the lovely breeze and fresh air. It actually fresh air. Mm. Yama. They look amazing. You did nail the sauce. What? Reminds me of Malta. Oh, what a compliment. What's a compliment? What you a compliment. Because I'm not Coming from a Maltese man, thank you. Yum! Alright, it's about to go down. Who will win? Me. No dummies. <laughs> I'm the I'm the tank. I will be the ship like again. Drink. Oh, Sky's gonna be drink. Would you like a little bit? She no, must be I sick. Don't know. I think I want it. <laughs> Gym, like you may be the other anyway, I cracked it last night, threw my cards in and called it quits yeah, because she's a sookie lala. Because you are a cheat. <gasps> that is not cheating. Even your father said that is not cheating. Quit. Your dad said that it was not cheating. 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 Your dad said that it was Hey guys, it is 10.50. I've just come on here to pretty much close out the vlog. Um, we're still at Clay's parents and that crazy wind I think that I mentioned earlier has come up. And this is what that fire forecast was basically all about. This is what everyone has been worried about. And let me tell you, it has got me triggered. As soon as it came up, we were still sitting there playing Monopoly. And it blew a freaking massive branch off a tree into the window and smacked the window so hard. I only just saw it out the corner of my eye and I thought it was a bloody kangaroo running into the side of the house. And just five million thoughts were just going through my head. Like, I, I literally think I have PTSD, PT, Post Traumatic Stress Disorder, from... Um, a little bushfire experience little um yeah like so the southerlies come up it's like obviously whipped up all the smoke that hasn't been around all day and i can just hear the wind and i can smell the smoke and it literally just takes me right back to the other day and i'm like oh, i instantly just i jumped out of the chair i'm literally oh my god why am i crying i'm literally just crying talking about it but I literally just jumped out the chair, threw all my shit in the bag. I have a little bag here, packed and like ready to bring with me to run down to the beach. I've got like a beach shell and all that stuff in there. Basically everything that I wish that I had when we originally evacuated. But anyway, threw all that stuff into my bag. I looked out the window and Clay yelled out again because he had gone outside at that point. And he yelled out, Dad, it's on. And that just triggered me again, let me tell you, because that was exactly what he said. Aside from, obviously, Dad was replaced with Tori, it's on, is what he said when the spot fires started at our place. What, nine days ago now or something? It literally feels like it was like a day ago. But yeah, that was what he said, and just everything, mainly the smell of the smoke and the wind, just has me feeling so freaking on a gin. But yeah, Clay's dad is in the fire brigade, so if anything was happening, if anything was close by, we would know by now. Obviously, I'm still really worried about our house. It is not anywhere near where we are at the moment, so I'm just hoping that it's fine. It can't be that bad, right? I mean, it's already burnt out, so what is there really left to burn? Where's an ember going to come from? I don't know. Let's just not even go there because my brain is just already fried. It is so crazy what... Um like fear and I can't think of what the word is pretty much fear I guess it is so crazy what being scared will make you do like when we left our house the other day we left because we literally thought that it was gonna go up in flames like we thought that was it game over see you later house like that was why we left because we just the way the weather came in we honestly thought that that was going to be it. We were like, okay, we can live right now or we can die. <laughs> like, that is honestly just how serious it is. And people just don't even get that. Like, it's literally not a joke. But I am going to wrap the vlog up here unless something happens later, which I really freaking hope that it doesn't. 
nothing is going to happen later. Everyone's going to be safe and everyone's going to be fine. And I really hope that you guys are safe watching this. And I really hope that everyone's doing well. And um, I just, I, I don't know what else to say. I've got nothing else to say, you guys. I'm just, I'm so done with these fires. I'm sick of talking about it. And I'm sick of even posting about it. Like, I love you guys. And thank you so, so much to every single person that watched my bushfire video, that left a comment, that liked that video, like gave it a thumbs up or subscribed to my channel for that. Thank you so, so much. And at least some sort of positivity can come out of the whole situation. But I'm honestly just like, so done with that. Oh my God, I'm going to cry again. <sighs> I'm going to be okay, I promise you guys. I just freaking can't wait for it to be over. And it literally just kills me knowing that we're only one third of the way into summer right now. I'm just so over it. Like, uh, someone left me a comment <laughs> earlier today. They were like, I'm from Germany and I can't offer you a warm country, but I can offer you a place to stay. And I was like, I will take you up on that. Like, I will literally save all my money up for a plane ticket to Germany and I will bloody leave this freaking fireball country but anyway <sighs> composure composure I'm gonna end the vlog here <laughs> no mental breakdowns on the camera um I love you guys so so much I really hope that everyone's doing well thank you guys so so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up Subscribe if you're not already. I'm sorry if this video was a bit boring. It was pretty much just updates to say that we're back home and that this is probably still a long way from being over, but I'm hoping to go back to normal content now. Uploading every Thursday and Sunday as per my normal schedule. Um, like I said earlier, we're probably not going to have the power for at least two weeks, probably another month. So I'll do what I can. But yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so, so much for watching if you watched this far and I will see you guys really soon.